What's up everyone, Xavier Cormier here, two-time freestyle calisthenics champion in Canada. In today's video, I've partnered with the Fit Home Gym to help you guys unlock one of my favorite calisthenics skills, the front lever. Let's get started. So in this front lever tutorial, I'm going to show you the main progression you should be focusing to unlock the front lever. So to unlock the front lever, there's definitely a few exercises you're going to need to master before getting started with the progression. These exercises are none less than the pull up and the dragon flag. Practicing a dragon flag is really going to help you engage the similar muscle and also fight gravity the same way you will be doing in a front lever position. So let's get started with the main progression I've been using to unlock my front lever that now I can hold for plus 30 seconds. So the first progression you really want to master is the tuck front lever. You want to keep your arm fully straight with slightly of a false grip if you can. That's going to help decrease the amount of tension in your arms and also help you hold this position easier. You want to bring your knees towards your chest and in this position you're going to be holding a clean top front lever. You should be able to hold every progression for at least 15 to 20 seconds before moving into the next one. The second progression is going to be an advanced tuck front lever. Very similar, but now we're going to try to bring our knees towards the ceiling. This will increase significantly the amount of stress in your core, back and forearms, mimicking the front lever even more. You can use the resistance bands to hold this position if needed, but make sure to not use too much assistance, otherwise it might not target the right muscle as it would be not using a resistance bands. My third favorite progression is the single leg tuck front lever. With this progression, you're really getting closer to a full front lever, and that's also going to really help you engage your core properly to eventually get a full front lever hold. Since the amount of tension in your core is going to be significantly higher, you can start with an advanced tuck on the opposite leg that is not straight. So by keeping that leg towards your chest, you're going to balance your front lever, but at the same time work on your core the way that you couldn't do with the other progression we've been through before. As you're getting more comfortable over time, you want to bring that knees all the way up into an advanced tuck single leg front lever. This will help you over time really engage all the core muscle and get your front liver with ease over time. And the last progression but not least is going to be the straddle front lever. This variation of front lever is just slightly easier than the full front lever but it's also going to require a little bit more activation in your glutes and core that you wouldn't really do in a full front lever. You can also use resistance bands for this exercise to really mimic the form in a clean, proper straddle front lever. When you're doing a front lever, you don't want to be in a protracted position, neither a retracted position. You actually want to be somewhere in the middle in a neutral position. You want to keep your arm above your waistline so you don't want to have your arm in front of your chest. You want to slightly have your arm in front of your waistline and also keep a false grip position as much as possible. Remember guys, front levers and all the other skills from calisthenics can take a while to unlock depending on your level. So don't rush the progression, take time, enjoy the journey and make sure that you can hold every progression for at least 15 to 20 seconds before moving into a harder one. So that's it for the front lever tutorial with the Fit Home Gym. If you guys enjoyed this one, drop a quick like and let us know in the comment which tutorial you would like to learn in the next one. Xavier Cormier here and I'll see you on the next one.